Today, I've got myself um, a Raspberry Pi 400. Always wanted a Raspberry Pi um, keyboard case. Tried making one in the past, didn't go so well. There are cases out there, but um, they would be even a bit expensive or not what I'm after. But this is lovely size. This is the full kit, which comes with the mouse and a few other extras. So let's have a quick look, shall we? I mean, this isn't a case, this actually is a full computer. If that wasn't 100% clear. I mean, so this, this is the keyboard. Well, the computer itself. We have, it's reasonably thick. We've got some, I suppose, cooling vents underneath. And, yeah, it's your typical laptop style keyboard. So there's not a lot of travel in on those, but. What it is, uh, we have the the output pins, general IOP. Uh, we've got, I think there's an SD card already installed in this one. Yeah. So this pack comes with a 16 gig card, rated A1, which is nice. Get in there. Now on the back, you'll notice that the ports are pretty much exactly the same as the Raspberry Pi 4. We have the power. We have two USB 3. But we have one USB 2 because the other USB 2 is being used for the keyboard itself. For Ethernet, and we have the two micro HDMI ports here. Now, what I, now I don't know why they didn't just put real HDMI ports on here because there's clearly enough room. But I'm guessing with more of a cost saving measure. They're saying that this this isn't cheap. I mean, this costs me what I think. Ninety pounds or something, which isn't isn't particularly cheap when it's considered a Raspberry. It is a four gig Raspberry Pi four, so that's where the cost is. But underneath here we have SD card adapter. I suppose I could have put the SD, micro SD card in there. We have the official mouse, power supply. Now the reason why I bought this kit was to get the power supply because I, I kind of needed another one anyway, and it seemed like a good idea to. Get this in the mouse and there's everything. Plus, I wanted to see what was in the book. We got a um, nice white HDMI cable. Shame it's not two. It says an hourly pick look. And we have the official Raspberry Pi beginner's guide. And picture of the keyboard on. Oh, very nice. So, yeah. I've seen pictures of this before. It's a full colour general. Uh, manual, how to, yeah, kind of guide. It's really for younger audiences, but still interesting to see what they've put together. Bring some basic wiring. Is that a speaker? Yes, yeah, a little speaker, a little buzzer. So yeah, so you get the book, which is with us. But I'm not massively interested in the book. So, put that over there a bit. Let's have a look what the mouse looks like. It's not very heavy, but for a. I need a knife or something. Ah, one over there. Just pop this open. Very quick one. There we go. And then here we have a bonus, which is in a very stylish Raspberry Pi red and white. It's a bit typical style mouse, not the most comfortable, but very clicky. I was wondering how long the cable was because. I was concerned they would have gone all Apple on this and made a really short cable. Uh, uh, it's not... Mm, not great. I suppose it's more of a laptop style one. I suppose it plugs, it plugs straight into the keyboard, so... That's fine. There's two going to use for this anyway. Well, I'll probably use another mouse, but it's nice to have a spare. And here we have the official power adapter. Now... This has got the fix for other power supplies. They have a decent 
a USB-C power supply you can use that but if not you can use the built-in one now interestingly this is just the UK one it hasn't got the swappable uh, face which is fine I need the UK one seems like a decent length so that's always going to come in handy so let's actually have a, a look at this then shall we let's pop it open and see what's inside he says that realizing that there's no obvious screw That's disappointing. If I can work out how to open this, I'll open it. But that's it for now. And you'll notice there's no like place to put plug a camera in. But you do have a Kensington lock, not that would be that useful I suppose. But yeah, I was hoping to open this up and have a look inside before I used it, but there we go. Now there isn't an actual there's a Raspberry Pi in here, but it's extended the entire board. So it's not not like you can drop any Raspberry Pi in here, which is a shame, especially considering the price. Um, it would be nice if they used their new uh, compute module, and there was just you can remove that and upgrade it. So this isn't, at least at the moment, upgradable. And since it doesn't look like you can easily open it, it doesn't look like they'll be releasing updated boards or new cases. But it would be nice if they actually released this as an official case, maybe a bit thicker, so you can use your own Raspberry Pi on there. But uh, that's it for now. That's all we get. So we got HDMI cable. One mouse which plugs into the back. Plug you in. Very quick. Alright. I will do it for like a, a bit of a review on this. I want to see how the heat is. Since I know Raspberry Pi 4 can overheat a little bit. I mean we have one doesn't, but it's interesting to see how this one does since it's in an enclosed case. It does seem to have like a bit of metal and a vent at the bottom, but we'll have to see. Put in a some stress tests and some air clock and see what happens. And not very well laid out, is it? But here we go. One mouse, one keyboard. Come into the shop, little mousey. There we go. So, yeah, we get a fair bit in the package. Amazing little machine. Of course, you've got to supply your own monitor, but let's be honest, you can properly plug it into a TV or get something cheap or almost free if you look around. Some like you know older 19 inch monitors. And I hope people do that because I don't want people going this and then going buying brand new monitors. I, I'd like to see people recycling older stuff, especially for something like this, since it's more for uh, you know. The old like ZX Spectrum, that kind of thing, bedroom programming, little keyboard, there's the whole computer, go off and go make something. So I would like to see a lot more of that, and that's what they're aiming for with this. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see what they come out with next. I'm a bit disappointed overall with it, especially with the price and the fact that it still isn't a proper HDMI cable. But uh, I believe in the current climate and stuff, it was probably the best they could do with the price so we'll have to see how it goes in the future but certainly worth picking this up if you're into a little, little bit of coding or want to try out a bit of a Raspberry Pi experience of course you can install like RetroPie on here and use it for a little games machine so I might have a look at that later myself um, but overall it's a very interesting looking machine and I will do another, a few videos later having a play around with it because I have some ideas what I want to do with this one. Normally I buy a Raspberry Pi with half an idea and I sit in the drawer for six months. This one will be used uh, very, re well, hopefully in the next few weeks, depending on my schedule. But there will be some videos regarding this letter. So that's it for now. Goodbye. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, please look at some of my others. There will be a review coming out of this. Uh, please like, uh, leave a comment. And of course, if you could subscribe, this channel is still very early days and I need every subscriber I can get just so uh, I can, well, get some ad revenue and ho cover my time and give you more in-depth in content. So that's it for now. See you next time.